pay Lossity was at $130.69 when we caught them in the app. Now they're at $161.40. That is a 23.49% increase in around two months. Hey guys, this is the winning stocks for the month of August. And as you know, I like to start with the SPY or the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ, because those three let us know which way the market is moving pretty much overall. And we see that for these last four weeks, the market will actually, three of the last four weeks, the market has been moving up. And it's moved pretty much sideways this last week. When it comes to the Dow, we see a move up for four straight weeks. The first two weeks were bigger moves, and the last two weeks were smaller moves. But nevertheless, a move straight up for the last four weeks. And with the NASDAQ, we see that it moved up three weeks and it sort of moved down this last week. So the last two weeks were sort of sideways. But we saw a three week climb before it retreated a little this last week. Now, having said that, let's look at some of the stocks on our watch list. And we're going to start with Five Below. Now, the stocks on my watch list I like to break down into three tiers. Three stars is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is beneath that. One star is the least fundamentally sound, but still sound enough to make it on the watch list. Five Below is a three star. They have an earnings date dropping on November 27th or later that week. And we know an earnings report is sort of like a report card for businesses. If it comes out good, the stock price can dramatically jump. If it comes out bad, the stock price can dramatically drop. So an earnings report it's sort of like don't go into a casino. You don't know how that day is going to end up. So we like to buy our things a little before the earnings report. And if it jumps up and the earnings report comes back bad and the stock ends up dropping, we haven't really lost much or anything at all because we've already gained from buying it prior to. In any event, Five Below is a three-star. They have the earnings report dropping November 27th or later that week. This stock is currently at $75.43. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $105.01 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 39.22% increase. And like we said, they've moved up two weeks. It's down one week. We want to see if they continue to go down. They start to move sideways. Or they start to go up moving forwards. Now, Five Below is a stock that I want to use to show you an example of what we have in the StockSage website. When you're looking for a stock, when you're looking to buy a stock, you want to buy a stock that has positive earnings for, I would say, all five previous years, previ all previous five years is best, but even the majority of those years. Well, you get that in stock sage. It shows you if the earnings are positive or negative. 
and what they are. But the biggest thing is, how do you know you have a decently priced dog? And the way that you know that you have a decently priced dog is if you look at the low P.E. ratio, which you also have in Stock Sage, look at the low P.E. ratio, and you can look at the current P.E. ratio. See the current P.E. ratio is 14.88? Well, in the last five years, the P.E. ratio has been 37, 15, 74, 21, and 30. So actually the P.E. ratio right now is lower than it's been in the previous five years, which means if you buy this stock at this stage, you can reasonably expect it to move up. Now, is it possible that the stock can keep dropping? Yes, it's very possible. And that's why we look at the candlestick charts as well. But is it probable? It's not very probable. If the current P.E. ratio is lower than the P.E. ratios for the previous five years, it's very probable that this stock is not going to fall much further before it starts to climb up. Now, I just did this one example of this to show you in this video but if you want to see another video where i have 35 stocks where i show you not only the candlestick charts but the low pe ratios as well at this current time you can get those stocks by going to the description below You'll see a link, click on the link, and there will be a landing page that will come up where you'll fill out your name and your email address, click submit or sign up, and when you do that, an email will come back to you with that special video, not only with these 35 stocks and their candlestick charts, but also with the low P.E. ratios just like you have here for each of those stocks. In any event, let's move forward. So five below, when we caught them in the Stock Sage app, they were at $75.94 a share. Now they're at $75.43. And they, we caught them on July 18th. Now we see it's September 1st. So they haven't really started to move up yet. They've actually dropped back a little bit. They've lost 0.67%, which means less than 1%. Let's go to our next one. We have Myers Industries. Myers Industries is a two star. Now, they have an earnings day dropping on October 30th or later that week. This stock is currently at $15.29 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $27 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 76.59% increase. And as you can see, they moved up three weeks, then down a couple of weeks, and they moved up, I would, well, yes, the last three weeks, but more so two. And the last one was sort of a lateral move. Myers Industries was $13.72 when we caught them in the Stock Sage app. And we caught them in the app on um, August 13th. And now we're, we know we're in the beginning of 
September, so it was less than a month. In that time, they've moved up 11.44% and still have a bit they can move up, like we said before. We have Lululemon. They are a three-star. Now, this stock is a $259.47 a share stock. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $335.55 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 29.32% increase. We see they moved up three weeks in a row and then down last week. When we caught them in the stocks AJAB, they were $257.86. That was a little over a month ago, July 25th. In that time, they really haven't moved up much. They just moved up 0.62%, less than 1%. But we see they moved up three weeks, but we caught them in the app a little bit later. Next, we have PCTY. Paylocity. Now, this is a stock that will be removed from the watch list after this video. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on October 31st or later that week. They're currently at $161.40 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate. They can move up to $180.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 12.06% increase. Paylocity was at $130.69 when we caught them in the app. Now they're at $161.40. That is a 23.49% increase in around two months. Next, we have Steven Auto Group. They are a one star. Currently at $21.88 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $26.63 in the next two months. I mean, in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 21.71% increase. This stock was $18.53 when we caught them in the app. Currently at $21.88. That is a 18.07% increase in around two months, a little under two months. We have Diageo PLC. This is another stock that will be removed from the list after this week. And Diageo actually makes a bunch of alcohols. Um, guess your favorite alcohol, and they're probably made by Diageo. In any event, they're a one star. They moved up three weeks, moved back one. They're currently at $130.76 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $140.89 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 7.75% increase. That's why they're being removed. Not enough room to increase this year. They were at 
and 42 cents when we caught them in the app. Now they're at $130.76. That is a 5.94% increase in a month. We have Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Roll is a big candy distributor. They sell Tootsie Roll for those who are familiar with them and a bunch of other candies. In any event, they have an earnings report dropping on October 23rd or later that week. They are a two star. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them, but my estimate based on PE ratios is that they can move up to 41.25% increase in the next 12 months. This company was $28.13 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're $29.72. That is a 5.65% increase in a little over two months. We have Haverty Furniture. You may not know their name, they make furniture. You may not know their name, but if you look at their bio and see some of the furniture they make, you may be very familiar with that. In any event, they're dropping an earnings report on October 30th or later that week. They have moved up one, two, three, four, four weeks sideways, two down two. They're currently at $27.40 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $36.33 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 32.59% increase. They were at $23.69 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $27.40. That is a 15.66% increase in about two months. We have Energy Recovery. They're a two star. And we see that in the last one, two, three, four, five, six. In the last eight weeks, they've moved up for six of them. They have an earnings report dropping on October 30th or later that week. They were at $16.24. Um, well, they're currently at $16.24. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $20.50 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 26.33% increase. This stock was $13.02 when we caught them in the app. Notice the Stock Sage app not only catches fundamentally sound stocks that are expensive, it finds the cheaper ones as well. It was $13.02 when we caught them in the app. Now it's at $16.24. That is a 24 point seven three percent twenty four point seventy three percent increase in a little over two months we have Yum China Holdings for all of those who 
never heard of Yum China Holdings. Yum China Holdings is the Chinese version of Yum Brands. And for those who've never heard of Yum Brands, Yum Brands is KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. And Yum China Holdings is KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and other restaurants in China. Yum China Holdings has an earnings report dropping on October 29th or later that week. They're a one star. This stock is currently at $33.81 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $45.53 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be a 34.66% increase. This stock was $30.48 when we found it in Stock Sage. Now it's $33.81. That is a 10.92% increase in two months, a little under two months. We have Greystone Housing Impact. This stock has an earnings report dropping on November 6th or later that week. This is a $14.29 stock. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $17.75 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 24.21% increase. Now, this is a, I wouldn't say an underpriced, but this is one of the cheapest stocks that you can buy at $14, but one of the other things that's so great about this stock is that their dividend yield is 10.82%. So here's a inexpensive stock at its low price moving up that has a 10.82% dividend yield and it's fundamentally sound. This stock was $13.95 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's $14.29. That's a 2.43% increase in under a month. We have Nike. Nike is another one that's about to be removed. So just because of the fact that it's not going to move up much further this year. So they'll be removed after this week. This stock has an earnings report dropping September 26th or later this week. I don't need to describe what Nike does. Everybody knows. Yes, the Nike that makes the sneakers and sports wear. In any event. They are currently at $83.32 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $91.51 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 9.83% increase. Not much, but just remember that's just for the next 12 months. Nike was $71.00 and 31 cents when we caught them in the stock sage app now they're at eight, $83.32 that is a 16.84% increase in under two months next we have Yelp Inc you guys are 
well, a few of you are probably familiar with Yelp online. In any event, Yelp is another stock about to be removed. They can grow by 17%, but that's not as much as some of our others. They're a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping October 31st or later that week. In any event, they are currently at $34.93 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $41 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 17.38% increase. Yelp is currently at 35, well, Yelp, when we caught them in Stock Sage, was at $35.71 a share. Now they're currently at $34.93. This one actually took a loss and moved back a little. 2.18% in the last two months. We have LKQ Corporation. LKQ Corporation is a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on October 24th. This stock is at $41.59 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $55.03 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 32.32% increase. LKQ Corporation was $40.26 when we caught them in the app. Now they're at $41.59. That's a 3.30% increase in a little over a month. We have West Pharmaceutical. It's another one to be removed from our watch list. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping October 24th or later that week. This stock is currently at $313.63. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $353.18 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 12.61% increase. Now, West Pharmaceuticals was $288.32 when we caught them in the app. Now at $313.63, that's a 8.76% increase in a little over a month. We have Edwards Life Sciences. This is another one to be removed from the watch list. Edwards Life Sciences has an earnings day dro report dropping on October 23rd or later that week. They're a three star currently at $69.96 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $80.71 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 15.37% increase. So not much more increase left. That's why we're removing them. However, Edwards Life Sciences was $62.33 when we caught them in the Stock Sage app. Now they're at $69.96. That is a 12.24% increase 
in a little over a month. Now, I, from time to time, I have people who drop in and talk to me about options. And, you know, I do a, this month's winning stocks, this week's winning stocks for the Stock Sage subscribers. But I also do a, this month's option picks and uh, regular option picks for the Stock Sage subscribers. In any event, people often ask me questions about options. And I'm going to explain the reason why so many people are excited about options right now. If you notice, in the time that the app was, the Edward Life Sciences was caught in Stock Sage until now, that's a 12.24% increase if you owned the stocks, you bought the shares of stock. But what would it be if you bought an options contract? Well, I just happened to buy an options contract. So we're going to take a look at that. I bought the options contract around that time. Still have it. And I paid $500.00 and 66 cents for the options contract. You see that on the cost basis. And now it's worth $979.18. That is a 95.57% increase in around a month's time. So, in the same time that I would have made 12% by owning the stock, I could have made 90, well, I did make 95% by owning the option. The problem is with options, you can lose money just as easily as you can make money. So you want to be sure that you're buying the right option. And if it's starting to tank on you, you want to let it go. You don't want to hold on to it. You want to get the options that are moving up. But if you are using the Stock Sage app, the one thing that makes stocks tend to move up is if you buy fundamentally sound stocks and you buy them as they're moving up from their low price and those PE ratios, the low PE ratios can show you the low price like I was talking about earlier and Stock Sage would assist you in that whole process. Picking fundamentally sound stocks and knowing that they're at a proper buy range. In any event, our next company, Dexcom. Dexcom is what you would call a continuous glucose monitor. For those who have diabetes, if you're familiar with anyone who has it, they have to prick their fingers to get blood out so that they can put it on the device to show them what their blood level is. Well, the Dexcom is a device where you can put the Dexcom in and then it's in there. There's no more finger pricking. Now you can continuously see what your blood sugar is either on your insulin pump or on your phone. You can send it to your phone as well. In any event, Dexcom is a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping October 24th or later that week. They're currently at $69.34 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $97.25 
in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 40.25% increase. Dexcom was at $54. I'm sorry, Dexcom was at $64 when we noticed it in Stock Sage. Now it's $69.34. That is an 8.34% increase in a little over a month. We have Ecovist Inc. They are a two-star. Now, this company has an earnings report dropping October 31st or later this week. This is a $7.18 a share company right now. They're $7.18 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10.21 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 42.20% increase. They were at $6.33 when we caught them in the app. That was about a month ago. Now they're at $13. I'm, I'm not at $7.18. That's a 13.42% increase. That's a 13.42% increase. We have Oak Tree Specialty Lending. They are a two star. Now, this company has an earnings report dropping November 12th or later that week. They're about to be removed from the watch list as well. They're currently at $17.13 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $18.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be an 8.99% increase. This company was $15.92 when we caught them in the app. Now they're at $17.13. That is a 7.60% increase in about a month's time. And Honda Motor Company, we know Honda, the car company. They're another one about to be removed. This company has earnings report dropping on November 7th or later that week. They're actually not fundamentally sound enough to be on our watch list, but a couple of redeeming things that saw about them, so I add them here anyway. They're currently at $32.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $38.78 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 17.69% increase. Honda Motors is, was, well, it was at $29.02 a share when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $32.95. That is a 13.54% increase in about a month's time. We have Rockwell Automation, another stock about to be removed from our watch list. They have an earnings report dropping October 31st or later that week. They're currently at $272 and three cents a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $267.93 in the next 12 months. So they've already moved past 
Yahoo's estimate by 1.51%. They were at $248.27 when we found them in the app. Now they're at $272.03. That is a 9.57% return in about a month's time. We have LPL Financial. They are a one star. Their have an earnings date, earnings report dropping October 24th or later that week. In any event, they are currently at $224.34 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate. They can move up to $284.92 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 27% increase. This stock was at $193 when we first found them in the Stock Sage app. Now they're at $224.34. That is a 16.23% increase in about a month's time. Then we have Stellantis, another car company. They're a two star, currently at $16.78 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $24.14 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 43.86% increase. Stellantis was $15.60 when we found them in the app. Now they're at $16.78. That's a 7.56% increase in under a month. We have Trinet, another one about to be removed. They are, there are no star. They don't have any stars, not fundamentally sound enough. But, they have an earnings report dropping October 23rd or later that week. They're currently at $102.83 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $122.25 in the next 12 months. If they do, that's an 18.89% increase. Now, Trinet was $92.79 when we caught them in the app. Now they're up to $102.83. That is a 10.82% increase in under a month. We have CSG Systems. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on October 30th or later that week. This company is currently at $48.52 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $63.78 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 31.45% increase. And notice in the last one, two, three, four, five, six, in the last eight months, they've moved up, I'd say, five of them, but only down one. Next, we have CNXC Concentrics. They are 
they're not they have no stars and they're not fundamentally sound enough but they have an earnings report dropping on September 25th or later that week they're currently at $75.23 a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $92.20 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 22.56% increase. We have Inter Parfums, make, they make perfumes. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping November 5th or later that week. Now, this stock is currently at $128.84 a share. They've moved up some. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $166.40 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 29.15% increase. We have Information Services Group. They don't have any stars and are fundamentally sound enough to be on the watch list, but they have an earnings report dropping October 31st or later that week. This stock is a $3.50 a share stock, and Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $6.08 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 73.71% increase. We have Papa John's Pizza, another no star. They have an earnings report dropping October 31st or later that week, currently at $47.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $57.08 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 20.50% increase. We have Progeny. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 5th or later that week. They are currently at $23.49 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30.13 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 28.27% increase. We have Innovative Solutions, another company about to be removed from the watch list. They're a three star. Currently at $7.02 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on P ratio is that they can increase to $8.16 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 16.24% increase. We have gambling.com. They are a one star, currently at $10.19 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $13.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 34.15% increase. We have ODP Corporation, and they are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 6th or later that week. They're currently at $30.85 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $50.23 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 27.54% increase. We have Cisco System. They're a three star. They have an earnings report dropping November 13th or later that week. They're about to be removed from the watch list. 
They're currently at $50.54 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $55.54 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 9.89% increase. We have ST Microelectronics. They're a two star. Moved up one, two, three, four in the last four weeks. They're currently at, well, they have earned support dropping October 24th or later that week. And they're currently at $31.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $41.47 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 29.80% increase. We have Blackstone Minerals. They are a three star. They are about to be removed from the watch list as well. They're currently at $14.92 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they'll move up to $15 in the tw next 12 months. So that's under 1%, 0.54. And the famous Ulta Beauty, they're a three-star. Have an earnings report dropping on November 28th. They're currently at $352.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $443.29 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 25.63% increase. We have MYR Group. They are a one star. They actually have an earnings report dropping October 23rd or later that week. They're currently at $100.80 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $149.25 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 48.07% increase. And we have Dolby Laboratories. They are a three star. They have an earned support dropping on November 14th or later that week. They're currently at $71.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $99 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be a 38.73% increase. We have Savitas Resources. They're a one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 5th or later that week. They're currently at $61.33 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $90.14 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 46.98% increase. We have National Research Corporation. They are one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 25th or later that week. Now this stock is currently at $22.80 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for them, but my estimate is that they can move up to $30.90 in the next 12 months based on P ratio. If they do, that'll be a 49.93% increase. And that's it for the stock picks this month, stock winners, guys. Um, I guess we'll do this again next month, but I Look forward to speaking to you 
in the next video.